is to say that there is a genuine need to be honest as people of Mount Kenya. And honesty starts with us asking ourselves. We have leaders that we have elected in Mount Kenya at the highest cadre of government. We have the majority leader, Kemani Ishongo. We have budget chairman, Nindi Nyoro. We have finance committee chair in Kuria. Okay? We have the deputy president in Rigadi Gashagwa. We have the attorney general in Justin Moturi. Okay? You're, you're keeping the count. Mm -hmm. We have chair transport committee in the name of uh, Karongo Adangwa. When it comes to the share of this government, realistically and honestly, yes. the people of Mount Kenya are well represented. Now, if there is disquiet among us, the people of Mount Kenya, we must ask ourselves what the leaders have contributed towards that disquietment. I can tell you for a fact, right now, getting a person like Kimani Ishongwa to sit on the table on behalf of the community is a very difficult thing. Do we have anyone to blame as people of Mount Kenya? No. Why? We voted for them. So, if they are not, they are not taking over the mantle, yes. then that's, you, you know, really it is, it is ourselves who shot ourselves on the foot. Because when you look at a person like Kemani Ishongwa, you can tell they have taken a nationalistic approach, which is okay, which is okay. I mean, I mean, they are national leaders. But, Simba, even if we make you a national leader today, you have a responsibility to your own family. Your wife cannot be asking, uh, uh, and your children cannot be asking for stuff, and you keep reminding them that, you know, I'm a national leader. <laughs> Those <laughs> things you're asking for, I cannot bring them to you. Don't you see I'm a national leader? Yes. I mean, that's not how it works. That's it. But as, mm -hmm. as I said, I've, I've just explained why I think Limuru 3 was an anticlimax. Yes. But that is not to say the issues they raised were not important. That's